Okay, this was some new tune from uh, Mr. Geraldstan. I have uh, <clears throat> been uh, a little bit sick and uh, in uh, problems, but you see we can't stop this, we can't stop doing this. So today, what is the issues? I saw something. I locked it down. Uh, Facebook is too much. Too much already. Sometimes it's lagging. I don't know. <coughs> but, um, Saw something uh, on Facebook. No, um, we don't know. I don't know what I saw. Something about you have these small videos that you can. Um, And watch on your timeline but um, it's too much I am uh, it's um, Sometimes, I don't know even what to make, uh, make all things. And um, I put up this again, <clears throat> believe in time. And now I have this, are you? Are you? Are you for real? I no, I saw my own. Um, now I remember something I wrote the other day. People get annoyed. People get annoyed over nothing. And uh, when I'm talking about the Christian community, they uh, go into debates around what, what is right and what is wrong. <coughs> what is... Uh, it's, uh, it's hard to take. Uh, sometimes, uh, you see, it's based on my... Uh, my experience, if not experience, it's my <laughs> intu <laughs> intu intu <coughs> intuition. Sometimes people um, don't like what I write, but I've been writing as long as I can't speak, and you can hear my uh, my health. In my throat, I've been coughing and not so well. And my doctor <laughs> said it's too crowded here uh, on my in my office. It's uh, everybody is sick of this flu. You see, here in Norway, we don't go to doctors <laughs> just because of a flu. Uh, we don't think that it is uh, it it it. Uh, when it's a virus or bacteria, it's going uh, over. It's um, <clears throat> as long as we can walk around, uh, not feeling so bad or so pity ourselves like that, 
we don't go to doctors and um, people want me to go to to doctor but uh, I keep uh, steadfast I called my doctor and he said it's too crowded uh, here so if you could wait yeah that was last week I promised someone to call my doctor and uh, I did but um, I didn't really it was not in my heart to do, to do it so I said to my doctor I'm feeling good <laughs> so so he said yeah I can hear that but you if you we want to help you of course I know because he now he loves the money I will uh, provide for him. <laughs> he wants the salt in his porridge. So people react over my words, <clears throat> and it is uh, quite okay. It's uh, I'm not a religious man, so I don't go into re 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 religious um, debates. What God says, and it is very easy. I did that uh, in my youth, younger period, twenty in the twenties. I think I went into this kind of debate because I wanted to prove something or show someone something, and. Um, to be right, yeah, here we come, here we come. I wrote something here. I wrote something here. Ah, oh. I, wrote, I wrote something here. You see, if you can give you see, people have their own uh, facts. Facts. You have to get your facts to uh, right together. <laughs> get your act together. Get your facts straight. <laughs> so I don't uh, care about people's facts, and uh, because it's uh, and my opinion is mine. I can talk as a prophet, I can call myself a false prophet, I can call myself whatever I want, uh, people don't really understand, I think, uh, but I can't wait for people to understand before I continue, I have to continue the way I go, despite people being uh, left behind. But it is uh, not a waste of time, not mine. Any anyway <clears throat> so <clears throat> my <clears throat> my saying was that um, uh, you should confirm everybody's uh, truth what was the writing give others the right because it's their own truth truth can be uh, <clears throat> Oh, only uh, in truth can only be obeyed if it leads to acceptance and justice for everyone including yourself then it's a good truth I think people have to adjust in any in a in any way people need to adjust just coordinate their uh, strategy and uh, their goal. I think um, along the way we have to adjust. So in the meantime I accept your truth. Despite what you say. You can say there is no God. I, I honor that. <laughs> you haven't seen God. <laughs> so so that is your uh, uh, derogative or what, what is the meaning of derogative <laughs> I don't know <laughs> uh, I can look and look it up because it's a word I use so I have to know what's the meaning derogative
De um. Derogatory. Ah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, um. Uh, I didn't mean it uh, in that way. Uh, not in a uh, arrogant way. <clears throat> it's your, um. Uh, truth it's, it's your um, mind uh, <laughs> it can be degrade but it's uh, mainly not because people are mainly honest about at least they want to be honest about themselves even it's about bragging I am I'm that kind of type that like to talk about myself in a very in a very um, bragging way, <laughs> people may think that ah, Wooly, you are talking so down on yourself uh, that you um, are like I'm, uh, I'm a stupid maniac or something. <clears throat> people tend to misunderstand because people are not children. At least I don't want to be a child in that regard. That I'm <laughs> thinking bad poorly of myself. But people um, go into nourishing and, uh, and mother smothering that uh, you shouldn't talk bad, negative about yourself. <laughs> Are they pitying me or what? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not bad talking. Me, I am not even uh, backstabbing myself. I'm not even uh, back uh, talking. <laughs> Bark towels. What is that in English? E. Slander. I'm not slandering about myself. <laughs> it's um. I, uh, you see, we have all our path in in our life. So when when we state something that we believe in now, we may be convinced of uh, different things. As as long as you see the world from day to day you may change your opinion it can be so and you may be afraid that your opinion will be uh, smashed I have been smashed I have to be honest about myself if I still continue to believe something that is proven wrong the, the atheist love to pick, pick, pick on the religious uh, about that because we think we, we, we believers we believe that uh, God created the, the world the reality but <laughs> the, the, the pickers <laughs> the atheists the leftists they um, like to uh, like to pick on us because we uh, we see, uh, according to them, we seem to be very stubborn in our opinion. So we, <laughs> so we are, in many cases, we are very stubborn in our opinion. Because we, <laughs> we, we love to talk about what is right and more, even more, what's wrong. Uh, we can't stop, we can't stop uh, talking about everything that is so wrong. That's why I say to many people, I, I like to see different worlds. I like to see different perspectives. And I want to admit, sometimes admit to your um, truth. Maybe I, am, I will be convinced. Maybe, maybe your truth is better, more solid, more qualitative, uh, solid than mine. 
your truth is uh, the right but never say never because uh, your your take on um, your take on things can be very brightly made sometimes we need to to admit that we we are wrong who is singing here Someone is uh, someone is singing in in the back. I, <laughs> I don't know who is singing there. But um, you see, it's uh, <clears throat> it's nice to to see different uh, settings. Because I saw a comment on on uh, some uh, social media that uh, now I have been there and there. It was a it was a some place in South America. I don't know. And um, he said, "Now I'm uh, going back home, understanding." That when we complain, we co complain over uh, our uh, luxurious life. But um, I I uh, I realized that uh, seeing those people that live day to day without maybe even food, maybe even a shelter. Maybe without any social, um, they uh, thrive on each other, but still they are uh, seemingly happy. So he learned that he's complain complaining need to stop because of that. I disagree completely. I disagree, but I can understand. I can understand why he said it because it gives a broader perspective to be. Um, if you have never been outside your um, town, living room, your uh, country, if you have never been outside. And uh, been to countries where the people are talking different. You don't follow up. You don't understand. I've been to Israel, and people seem very resourceful and very strong uh, social bond bonds, and everything seems to be so so strong. I feel weak. And it's a good feeling. It's good realization that you 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 see yourself more clear. <laughs> you haven't this network of social network, and uh, you um, you you can't afford like they are sitting on restaurants that <laughs> you can't you can't even buy a cup of coffee without minding how much it costs. Someone's told me that you have to, uh, you live your life uh, only once. But uh, you see, <laughs> uh, with, with my mindset, I don't think like that. But when you go to countries where the people are poor, where the, um, nature can hit the citizens and the, the native very hard, like drought, like rain, like storm, like uh, whatever, or like famine, like the politicians are not good. Such countries that is in a big wave all the time. 
No, he learned that he shouldn't complain because we are so fortunate that uh, comes from uh, we come from Norway. So I disagree to that, but it's a broadening, it is an enlightening altogether that we need to realize that even though we are complaining, we, ha- we need to complain. Everybody, every every single person need to complain. It's um, we are never satisfied, not because we are just selfish. No, the unjust to others is uh, never to be forgotten. And this kind of mindset that uh, now we can't complain. We are living in Norway. It's just a very simple, simpleton, very very narrow minded. So I wanted to dispute that, and. Um, but still, still I understand the mindset. Maybe it was the first time he really saw the, the situation in another different country, a more poor and, and uh, famine country. But the truth doesn't change. The truth doesn't change. Your truth may change but the truth never change the situation the reality doesn't change we can we can live in those areas for maybe one or two weeks then we complain we start to complain even with 100 million dollars in our our um, wallet we complain and uh, the need of change is met with uh, uh, complaining people that doesn't really like to change they will complain Um, so therefore I wrote I will confirm I will I will support your truth your narrative I will support it even if you say God doesn't exist, yeah, I will support it because it's you that haven't seen God. Support it. It's your truth. It's your world. So I understand the atheists and the leftists, they are blind. They are blind to the reality. Reality doesn't change, my friend. Only your position. Your position, your stand in uh, life. If you are, if you are really interesting, interested in, in change, you will suffer, but in a very good way. Suffer in a good way. The truth will change. Your truth will change. What you, your opinion was today will change tomorrow. What your um, friend was today, they become different tomorrow. What your um, Ownership, the realization of your belongings. You have uh, some opinions today. It will change tomorrow. Today you have money. Tomorrow you have gold. Silver and gold.
truth is so valuable, uh, God. But it can change from a lighter value to more deep. If you have some money and you invest in gold, you will um, be more heavy because the density in gold is very, very, it's very dense and uh, the pureness of the gold is all about its own value. So talking about truth see truth have been uh, the, 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 the truth have to be rinsed is that it's that important to be on the path that your truth your um, narrative have to be changed yes in order to get it more valuable so your money today seems very flexible, very cheap, very light, very, very random, very airy, very light. You got it from some feelings that it's just like that. But you see, <clears throat> the twist here is you undergo the life you do. And you suffer so much, but you still want to change. You still want to, you still want to um, get the grips on the facts. You want to dig deep. You want to uh, broaden your uh, perspective. So I came to the realization that uh, God defined that is profound. With God's definition, everything exists. Just name it, then it's there. And uh, when you have money, don't keep it forever because it can be thrown away. I kept mine in bank for many days and it went away. But when I invested in gold, gold increased its own value. And we invested in silver and the, and the value of silver went up. So, my friend, if you invest in a kind of a life undergoing change, you will be deepened in your own uh, perspective of things. You don't become arrogant and this is this is the truth and only truth. No. You have to you have to own it. You have to value it. The truth can can never be used other than to be served. That is what my main point here is. The truth in your perspective it need to be served in order to be seen. It needed to be practiced in order for you to understand, even if, if you are wrong, right or wrong. The truth is a path to the reality. Your truth is your way, your path to reality. So that, that's why people get realizations. That's why people get... Um, enlightened because you go by your own truth and you get arrested you you are, you, you are arrested for thinking a wrong thing have a wrong opinion so you need to be brave meet the life head on and accept that you were wrong sometimes we need to accept accept that my friend Goodbye.